If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this very plain little shot glass and transform it into a very heavily blinged, chunky, abstract glass, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be adding quite a few things to this shot glass. And I just recently did a shot glass with some flowers. This one I decided to add some UV resin into a little UV resin mold and make some cute teddy bears. They're gonna be very glittery and very pretty. And they're huge, they're just as big as the shot glass. But I thought, why not add something very just big and over the top? So that's what I was thinking. Here's some glitter. I think I got this glitter from Michaels. And as you can see, it's a chunky glitter. It's like confetti, it's so pretty. I'm just going to take a little plastic spoon, stir that up, and then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit more UV resin because when you make your little um, decor with the UV resin, you don't want it to have like a dip in the back. So you wanna make sure that you fill up the little mold, but don't overflow it. You can get this UV resin from Amazon. You can also get these teddy bear molds from Amazon. Don't worry, I'll have a link to where you can get these things. Let it set under the lamp at least about 90 seconds. I'll have a link to where you can get the LED lamp as well. So I'm working on my second little teddy bear and I have these cute little clay sprinkles, which I love. They're very, very pretty. And you can add them in with some glitter if you want to but I'll be just using the clear UV resin with the clay sprinkles. If you want to add a little bit of color to your resin, you can use either a little bit of mica powder or alcohol inks. So you could further research that on your own, but I love the clear look with the confetti. So you'll see how these turn out in just a moment. I'm just making sure I have all the sprinkles inside of the mold and I'm gonna let this set under the light for about two minutes because you can do two rounds of 90 seconds. I have them flipped over because you also want to make sure the UV light cures on both sides. So it's pretty warm sometimes when you take it out of the LED lamp and just be careful. I love to pull these out of the mold and just to see how beautiful they are. Remember if it's still sticky on either side throw it back in the lamp. You'll be just fine. Look how cute that is. I love it. So these are um, two different teddy bear styles. And I just put it back in the lamp anyway, just in case. So um, I think one is a little taller than the other, but they're both teddy bears and they're both cute. This one came out really cute as well. Just very nice. Okay, so what I'm doing is just taking some alcohol and just wiping off the shot glass that I have, wiping it off really good. And I'm gonna add this big bear. Now this bear is huge and when I first tried it, it just slid all over the place. So I just had to really get like a nice secure hold on it. So that's why I'm holding it like this because it's huge. It's not gonna just stay, you know, it's pretty big. So I have a nice hold on it. I'm making sure the bear's feet aren't lower than the bottom of the shot glass because they won't sit flush on the table. So once you have it under the lamp for a while, it locks on and you're good to go. Now I have some um, bling I have set out to the side. I have these other cute little resin bears that I bought off Amazon and they're just cute. So I'm not doing any certain type of color scheme. I'm just adding on what I picked out randomly. So it's gonna be like a junky look. Like you know how you get your nails done and you have that one nail. All of them are plain but you have that one nail that's busy body, like a junk nail. So this is gonna be like a nice junk little shot, shot glass. Really busy over the top, that's that's what I was going for. And I'm just adding two or three things, because everything is pretty much heavy. Adding two or three things, pop the lamp on. Even if you don't do the full 90 seconds, do at least 10 seconds so, it's, so it'll hold. So you can keep moving and adding more things on. So once you're finished, you just let it sit under that lamp like two or three times so it get a nice full cure. So this is excellent because when you have these heavier size things, if you're using regular glue, it's gonna keep sliding. So you have to like kind of just do one side at a time. And this was like really fun to do. And I just did a shot glass the other day. I posted that video already, but at the end I'll show it to you. Just to kind of compare and show you the different styles of um, things that you can do with these. But I really enjoyed making this. 
and it's coming together pretty cute so these shot glasses came from Amazon I got a set of like 24 for about 16 17 bucks which is amazing you know so think of this as something that it's extremely unique like hello if it was someone's birthday and you're like oh my gosh I want to get this person something for their birthday but I'm kind of low on cash groceries high gas high rent high everything is just high you can get a cute little shot glass use your creativity put some cute stuff on it put it in a cute little gift bag if they're going to like a dinner party and they'll take it out like oh what is this and everybody be looking like oh my gosh that's so cute did you do that you know and then maybe if you want to make it a side hustle and just start making them and selling them why not so that's just the idea I'm just throwing out there. I'm almost finished. This literally didn't take that long at all. And I really enjoyed making this. Oh, and a wax pickup tool, you'll need that as well. Almost done. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this glass, the shot glass. Look at those cute little teddy bears. I love those teddy bears. I wish I had more pink. I had did a denim jacket for my daughters. And I think I used up the pink ones, but I have these little light blue, little yellow, little gray. That's fine. And then there's that teddy bear. It's kind of out of focus, I guess, because of the sequence background. But you can see that big bear over there. You can take it a step further and do two big bears. I was going to put two bears, one bear on each side. I decided not to. But look at all that sparkly bling. I love this. Okay, look. I want you guys to see the other um, shot glass that I did. They're complete opposite. One is so dainty, calm, cool, collective, and the other one is just like a lot going on, busy, but I love it. It's just so cute. Like one is like calm. What What's the calm place? Um, one is like a nice calm, I guess, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and the other one is given like Las Vegas I guess like a busy place just busy a lot going on bright lights and I love it just like one extreme to the next which one of these fits your personality more me personally I love them both both I'm kind of more so leaning towards the flowers because it's something different that I've never done before and there's no bling on it and it just goes to show everything don't have to have bling to be cute you know but you guys I hope you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did share it on Facebook Subscribe to this channel if you want to and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron-on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in-waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Life is a Whole Vibe. Bye-bye.